Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 24th of July, 2023. So this video is kind of a little bit of an add on to the last video, but that one was starting to get a bit long. So I thought I'd separate the videos and the Jimmy Dore video that I referred to in that video, uh, again, I'll leave a description to it in the description box. Uh, sorry, a link to it in the description box below here as well. Uh, well, another thing that I, they were talking about is how excess deaths uh, seem to be coming down. Um, they're now back at uh, normal levels. Apparently, this is uh, yeah, what has been said in the New York Times article that uh, Jimmy Dore was referring to in his video. And, you know... Uh, Obviously, they've been higher than normal for quite some length of time, but apparently they are now back down at normal expected level. So obviously, excess deaths, yeah, the authorities know yeah, roughly how many people are going to pass away every sort of month and every year. I think in this country, it's about half a million people uh, sort of normally pass away just through the natural course of things every year. So uh, that equates to, what, about 10,000 people uh, a week. So if one week it's 12,000 people who pass away, and for quite a few weeks, it's 12,000 that would do those 2,000 excess deaths. And uh, that's kind of where we've been at. Uh, well, I think it might be more than 2,000, but uh, I'm not sure. But uh, uh, there has been excess deaths uh, you know, for the uh, last sort of, uh, you know, a lot of months, basically. Uh, some people think it's one thing. Others of us think it's a totally different but related thing, if you know where I'm coming from. But the point is that I'm trying to make is that in this article, Jimmy Dore was talking about uh, the excess death figures are now back down at a normal level. Okay, these are American figures, but they're, they're going to apply across the Western world. And he, Jimmy Dore, makes the the point that, well, probably the reason why they're back down at uh, normal levels is because no one is having a certain thing that goes in there anymore. And um, I kind of took quite a lot of hope from that because I did fear that that thing may well have not only short-term, not only medium-term, but also long-term consequences, and that, uh, yeah, deaths from it would, you know, really be long-lasting and just keep increasing. But if the excess death figures are starting to go back to normal, it kind of suggests, well, basically, it suggests that uh, if you've had it, uh, the thing that I'm talking about, and you haven't suffered any consequences up to now, you're probably going to be all right. So it's kind of a bit of a message of hope for me, and obviously for anyone who's actually had the thing who's watching this. And, um, you know, uh, there is this talk or even admission coming out somewhere from Europe that uh, a lot of them might have been placebos anyway, so that all, all you got was just saline or whatever it was. But yeah, um, it is nice to see if these excess figures that Jimmy Dore was talking about is true and true for the UK, etc. as well as the US. Um, it is good news. Now, of course, excess deaths kind of work on an average. I think it's a five year average or something. So if there's been a lot of excess deaths for the last two and a half years, it means that the overall average has sort of gone from there up quite a bit. So if they're talking about excess deaths being sort of back down to uh, normal, that means normal on a higher average. Um, I, want, I want to see less than normal excess deaths, which would bring that average line down again. Um, otherwise, effectively, compared to what we were getting pre 
early 2021 is still excess deaths. So, uh, you know, probably not explaining that very well, but it's the way averages work. And if figures go up, the averages will go up and the figures have to come down uh, a lot, quite a bit lower than the current average uh, to bring the average line down again. That's what I'm trying to say. And I want to see that come down before I'm totally convinced that uh, uh, we're out of the woods on this thing. But I was kind of, I suppose, relieved and um, yeah, happy to hear that news. Uh, hopefully it's true. Hopefully it's a trend that's going to uh, yeah, spread across the world and uh, continue downwards and yeah I thought I'd just let you give let you have that message of hope and you know I'll let you go and watch the Jimmy Dore thing where he talks about this but yeah if the excess deaths figures are coming down that is very very good news in my book so that's all I wanted to add on to the last video and uh, check out that Jimmy Dore video in the description box below. Let you go and do that. And back soon. Tim from Fairplay Now. Thanks for watching.